Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of the Elite Force 2 walkthrough. So we've just been sent from the bridge to go to the armory. I'm going to have a look around first. I always like listening to what the uh, crew are talking about as well. I've been doing a little research into the Atrexians during my spare time. What did you find out so far? They're a spacefaring species with warp capability and modern weaponry. Most of it acquired from other races. So they don't develop a lot of their technology themselves. Right. How much I've does he look like Monroe? Prosperous by mining their colony worlds. They must be trading with both the Federation and the Romulans. I'd be concerned about that, but I don't think they're a very aggressive species. They haven't been a threat to either the Federation or the Romulans. They clearly seem to be in the right place at the right time. Exactly. Hmm. I've made some improvements on the Federation issue grenade launcher. I've loaded a holo program to test it. If you like it, then we can use it on the mission. Cool. Okay. Ah, so this is like a Quake 3 arena battle. The Elite Force 2 multiplayer, I don't think it was as popular at the time. Elite Force 1 was incredibly popular. I remember playing that for years. Grenade launch is pretty cool. Just gotta watch you not too close when they go off. Almost as good as a Klingon. Almost. The Enterprise. Now entering the Taravar system. Shields up. Taravar 7 dead ahead. Take us in. Aye, sir. No ships in the area. Scanners detect exomorphs. They're swarming Taravar 7. Maintain a high orbit. Keep us outside the range of their propulsion systems. Aye, sir. Hail them. No response. The planetary defensive grid has been knocked offline. Superficial damage to their power converters. Monroe, assemble your team. I want you to restore that grid and... Captain! Multiple ships warping in. Three Idril ships. Interesting timing. Hail them. Greetings, Captain. We are here to provide assistance to the Atrexians. What kind of assistance? Each of our ships have a small security contingent. We would be honored to put them under your command to assist the Atrexians. They will take orders from Lieutenant Monroe. I'm sure of that's course, Vegan Armstrong. Captain. Monroe, prepare your team to beam down and keep an eye on the Idril. He appears in almost every Star Trek series and in one episode i'm pretty sure he played three different people it's crazy we are ready to transport lowering shields for transport might not be a good idea Memories of Star Trek Nemesis. Hey, Mr. Broccoli. Offline. Weapon systems offline. 
The three Idril ships hit us when we lowered shields. We are being hailed. On screen. Brenda. When we last met, you took away my most precious possession. Now I take away yours. Prepare to be boarded. Lieutenant Monroe. <laughs> yes, sir. Report to the bridge. And bring me a rifle. Is the rifle to warm his tea up? The transporters are down, along with the turbolifts. I've got Idril beam in signatures appearing all over the ship. To all hazard team members, emergency deploy. Fight off the Idril invaders. Ooh, I've still got the Ori staff weapon. I'm requesting assistance in the main cargo bay on yeah, the look at that, I can freeze people. It's ace. Hello to the Ori. Why are these bricks got the force field on if there's no one in them? It's a bit wasteful. Don't want to fall out of there. Cool, so the force field came on. Get over here, Monroe. Yeah, they have these weird, like, shield things. The compression rifle goes right through them, though. It's uh, good. Now, our first starship will be in that crate. So just shoot it. Here. There's another one. Health, ammo. Routing power to security systems. Kill him. Ah. System lockdown initialized. Thank you for the assistance. Okay. Security breach right. in main engineering. Security for the Jeffrey's tubes. Monroe, if you're still on deck eight, I need help in sick bay. We're getting overrun. Unauthorized access in turbo lift eight A. Yeah. Up the ladder. So we'll be going that way. Lieutenant Monroe, assist with the defense of this corridor. Federation, stop him! Okay, now in here, there's this hidden starship. Go to this console, press the X button, and that will transport that stuff out, and the golden starship will transport in. Well done, Lieutenant. Reinforce Jarat's team in sick bay. Off to sick bay we go. We've got both the starships. Hurry, Monroe. I don't know how You'll long we die. can hold out. You'll die. Security breach on bridge deck. Initializing security uh, protocol card. Look out! Kill him. him! Encrypting primary and secondary uh, security uh, codes. Kill him! Uh, Federation, uh, stop him! Uh, 
Thanks, Monroe. That was close. Monroe, they're in engineering. On my way. You can get to engineering via this Jeffrey's tube access. Go. I like how Monroe has to save the ship every time. Go to a sea starships. Now this next bit that's coming up is not going to be easy and it's taken me about I don't know, five attempts. This is my fifth attempt, I think. It's quite frustrating. But basically they're going to be engineering. Overheating everyone out. We get to work with Mr. Broccoli though, so that's cool. Now they will beam in and they will place stuff on the warp core. Now the trick to this is not missing any of them because I've stayed near the near this part mostly the whole time on my last attempt and it's not worked because they come in and you can't see them because they're behind the warp core but if they blow up if they can successfully plant the bombs then the warp core temperature gets too high and you've got no chance because there's a tricky puzzle coming up in a minute There's no first aid either. There's no health, so you've got to be careful here. Okay. Go for that. Right. Is the warp core stabilized? Not yet. Use your tricorder on the energy distribution panel to help me bleed energy away from the core. I'm trying. Okay, so we don't have long to do this. Warp core temperature approaching critical levels. The core temperature is still going up. The last two times I've done this, it's ended up blowing. And I failed the mission. can't move them all either. It's quite frustrating. Okay. We done. Did it. Monroe, I'm on the bridge. The captain's okay, but we're under attack. We need you. Then power up the bridge turbo lift. Okay. I'm on it. First of all, you want to go up this ladder, go into the Jeffries. Jeffrey's tubes and a golden starship. Now, uh, just noticed my health is very low. I mean the um, bridge lift. Bridge. So we got one of one starship. Now on this next level, there's one as well. Do you see he's just come out of the observation room? I'm gonna go back in, and there's golden starship. Kill him. 
you would think they would have some sort of point defense, la defense lasers built into the ship or something. That come out of the ceiling and take care of intruders. The invaders have been repelled. I am initiating a dampening field to repulse any additional direct frequency transporter attempts. We are being hailed. On screen. Surrender your ship. It looks like your invasion did not go as well as you'd hoped. Your ship is crippled. Your weapons are non-functional. There's no way out, Picard. Let's discuss it. And give you time Over to repair a your weapon of... systems. Do you take me for a fool? Turn your ship over to me, Picard, and I'll offload you and your crew on the nearest hospitable planet. I would sooner destroy this ship. <laughs> You're bluffing. But in case you aren't... Captain, several small idril vessels have landed on our ventral hull. What are they doing? Warning. Unauthorized access detected. The Idril are accessing our computer system directly from the hull. Self-destruct systems have been disabled. They are attempting to reroute command protocols and gain control of the Enterprise. Reverse ventral hull polarity. See if we can shake them loose. Negative. They have locked hull polarity in their area. I have polarized the outer saucer ring, which will prevent them from progressing any further. But I have no way of removing the Idril invaders. Lieutenant Monroe, report to the Enterprise hull and repel the Idril invaders. Do not let them reroute the command protocols. Aye, sir. Cool. Well, mission complete. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.